Welcome to Brain Academy. Okay, let's talk about pressure. Actually, uh, liquid pressure. In class 10, uh, most of the focus is in liquid pressure, not solid pressure. So we'll be talking about liquid pressure. Now, if you put a liquid in a container, okay, so there is a container, and there are water molecules or liquid molecules. What these molecules do is they apply pressure towards the wall of the container. So these water molecules are applying pressure in the walls of this container, and that pressure which is exerted by liquid is called liquid pressure. So you can define liquid pressure as the pressure, the pressure exerted by liquid on the walls of the container. So that's the definition of liquid pressure. Now we have the formula of liquid pressure that is uh, P is equals to um, H times uh, D times G and you can rearrange this as a D H G or like you can arrange this as S G H G D like in any way but it's the same thing. So how do we get this formula? We are going to derive this formula but before deriving this formula, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, two little formulas that you need to know to derive this formula. Not two, I think three. Yeah. So first of all, you need to know the formula of solid pressure, which is pressure equals to force divided by area. Next formula that you need to uh, know is uh, about force. And the formula for force is uh, m times uh, acceleration due to gravity, so mg. And the last formula that you need to know is of density. So the formula of density is mass uh, per unit volume. Now, if you convert uh, or we can derive the formula of mass from this formula. So if you move the volume there, it will be like mass, sorry, density times volume will equal to mass, will be equal to mass. So it can again be written as mass is density times volume. So the three formulas that you need to remember is the, th this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Mass is density times volume. Actually, there is another one. So the last formula is the formula of volume. I think everybody knows the formula of volume. Uh, it's length times breadth times height. Uh, but it can also be written as area times height. So L into B is area. So volume is area times height. So these four formulas. If you know these four formulas, you can derive this formula. And we are going to derive this formula now. So we have these four formulas that you need to remember. Number one, pressure is force by area. This is a simple formula of solid pressure. The next formula is force is uh, mass times acceleration due to gravity this is the second one the third formula that you need to remember is the formula of mass mass is density times volume and the fourth formula that you need to remember is of volume and volume is area times height so these four formulas are important in deriving the formula of pressure liquid pressure so let's derive the formula of liquid pressure which is p is equals to d h and g so to derive this formula, we are going to start from this point. So all of us know, or everybody knows that the formula of pressure is force by area. This is normal formula. Now what we can do is replace this force with mass times acceleration due to gravity. So mass times acceleration due to gravity by area. So it's from here. Now what we are going to do is replace mass. Mass is density times volume. So density times volume times acceleration due to gravity is same as here by area and then now we are going to replace this volume with area times height so density dot volume is area times height dot acceleration due to gravity by area 
and finally we are going to cut these two areas and so okay and then you get the answer and it is d h g so you have this pressure pressure is equal to d dot h dot g here d is density s is actually height uh, but in case of liquid instead of height it's called depth of liquid And then this G is acceleration due to gravity. And that's it. That's the formula for liquid pressure. Thank you.